Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you all how to backup and install games using the plugin called the No NPDRM. Um, this is going to be for all PlayStation Vita systems. Um, this is also going to assume that you have modified your system already. Uh, what I'm working on, my firmware is 3.60 and I have the Enzo um, installed along with Hinkaku. Um, I will be showing you how to go about installing the plugin and how to dump a physical game. Um, the physical game I'm going to be using is Tetris because um, I like Tetris. I always did. Um, the plugin was created by the Flow that essentially allows you to take any games and downloadable content and updates on a cartridge or install digitally on your system and dump them. And then you can utilize them as long as you have the no NPDRM plugin. All right, all the links will be down in the description below for you guys to check out if you want to install this. You could also install this with the auto plugin too. Um, I'm just highlighting um, this little information about the plugin and what it does. Um, you, you guys are more than welcome to read um, the write up about about this plugin so you can understand it a little bit further than what I'm telling you right now. Uh, I'm totally up to you guys, but it's really not that hard. You do have to enter a line of code, but I'll walk you through it. What you want to do is download the latest um, file for it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. So later on, um, we have the, we, I don't have to go fishing for it throughout many folders. So you go back to the PlayStation Vita, load up the Vita show. Once here, you want to hit the select button. Once you hit the select button, the FTP numbers will pop up. And what you want to do here is you want to go back to the computer, go back to the computer side, load up whatever FTP client you have installed. Um, most of them are free, which is great. So you load up your Vita, and you want to go down to the URO. Then you go down to the TIE folder, T-A-I, and you want to drop that no NPDRM file into the TIE folder. And you want to download the config.txt. As you can tell, it says transferred. You want to load up the config file. And right where I'm typing, I'll have it on the screen. You want to type the exact same line of code. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So it's not that bad. So once that's done, once you typed it out, you just want to hit save. You could exit out of that notepad, load up your FTP while it's still up and running. What you want to do is just upload that config file, and it's going to tell you to overwrite. You definitely want to hit yes. As you can tell, it's been transferred. So if you're following along and you're following me, yep, and you're doing a good job then. All right, go back to the Vita. You can close out of the FTP message bubble there. And what you want to do is definitely reboot. You're going to have to reboot the system. So everything um, gets installed right away. So once you boot it up, as you can tell, I have Tetris up. I'm going to install the cartridge for the Tetris. It only takes like a minute or so. So as you can tell, Tetris is installed. You can tell on the upper right hand corner that the game cartridge is in the slot. The game slot or whatever you want to call it. So what you want to do now is, since you installed the no NPDRM file, um, what you want to do is start up the game. And you don't have to play it or anything like that. I'm just going to show you um, that you start up the game and just get to the main menu where it says start. Um, you don't actually have to go into it and play. As long as the game gets booted up, um, that's all you need to do. So once uh, the whole game boots up, just hit the X button. Um, don't even play the game as long as it's booted, like I said, like five seconds earlier. As long as it's booted up and stuff like that, you're good to go. So exit out the Tetris game. Um, go back to the Vita show. As you can tell, the GR00 is the game folder. Um, hit the select button so the FTP numbers will pop back up again. And let's head back over to the PC side of things. So... Just load up, just reconnect the uh, FTP. Um, what you see, um, what I'm doing right now, I'm just creating a folder called Tetris. And 
on the Vita side of the FTP, I'm going to go to the UXO. I'm going to scroll down to see no NPDRM folder and double click on the app. And that long folder that starts with a P, I'm just going to download that into the Tetris folder. As you can see right there. Because that is my license. That is my license. It's a RIF file. It's a very long code file name or whatever you want to call it. Next, you want to go to the game folder, the GRO0. And you see the app folder, the APP. What you want to do now is you want to right click and you want to hit download and download this application folder into the Tetris folder that you saw me create earlier. And it's going to take a little while because it's a quite a big file, as you could tell. I think PlayStation Vita um, games are like a gig to like four, depending on uh, what what the game is. But grab yourself a beer, sit back, relax till this thing transfers over, and we'll go from there. So, how's everyone doing today? Hope I hope everyone's doing well with a crazy uh, world we're living in right now. Um, if you've got any questions, concerns, just, just drop a, um, a comment down below and stuff like that. And I'll try to get to them. Stuff like that. But as you can tell, by the bottom right-hand corner, the files have been transferred. Now let's just minimize this FTP client. Open up the Tetris folder. Open up that PC folder. And what you want to do here is just copy the RIF file. Just do everything that I do right now. And you go down to the system folder. Then find the package folder, and what you want to do here is just paste that file that you just copied into here. But you're going to have to rename this file to work.bin. Like I said, just copy everything I'm doing, and if you do it right, you won't, you won't mess up. So let's go back to the um, handheld. Um, I'm going to show you um, that the game cartridge is still in by the icon by the 6.30 p.m., as you can see. Now I'm going to take the game cartridge out. Just for demonstration purposes. I know it's too dark. You can't see it. I don't know why I did that. Now I'm going to load up the game. And it's going to give me an error message. Saying insert a PS Vita card. So what I'm going to do is back out of that. Now I'm going to delete the game itself. Totally from the system. As you can see right here. So once that's complete and done with. What you want to do is. Load up your Vita shell once again, and from your Vita shell, what you want to do is hit the select button. And once you hit the select button, the FTP numbers pop back up. Put the PlayStation Vita off to the side someplace, and while the FTP numbers are showing, now let's go back to the PC side of things. So right here, I'm going to uh, do a quick connect to the FTP server from the for the Vita. I'm going to go to my UXO. I'm going to double tap on the app folder, the APP. And on my desktop, I'm going to go to my Tetris folder, then to my app folder. And I'm going to transfer all those files from the PSC folder onto the Vita, it's Vita itself that's going to be going to the UXO slash APP folder. Now, this is going to be taken. I don't know, a couple of minutes or so since it's like a gigabyte of, of uh, files and stuff like that. So just bear with me, please. But it's not so bad. And once this is completed, I'm going to go pop back onto the PlayStation Vita. And I'm going to show you that the game actually does run without a... Um, PlayStation Vita card, which is awesome. It's wicked rad. So you just saw the file transfer was complete. Go back to the Vita, cancel that. What you want to do is hit the triangle and refresh the live area. Give this a few seconds. Now you just want to, after that is all said and done, you want to hit OK. And you can tell by the UXO, the number just jumped up. A few megabytes or so. So exit out of the uh, Vita shell and you got Tetris right on your PlayStation Vita. A fully backed up Vita, uh, Vita game. It 
takes this long to load even with the game cartridge uh, installed. I don't know why. I don't know if any other uh, video games, uh, Vita games are like that. They take a little while to load up and stuff like that. But I'm still trying to work on my stupid lumens, uh, lumines or whatever achievement. I need one more to complete it. The game blows. If you like textures, stick with textures, people. Lumens blows, although the soundtrack's great because it's like techno ambient and stuff like that, which I don't mind. So, as you can tell by here, by uh, what you see on the screen, guys, it works. Just follow all the steps that I did, and you will not have any problems whatsoever. So, as you can tell, I'm playing the game. Game cartridge is not even in. There wasn't an icon on the taskbar on the above where the, where the time is. So, if you did everything right, just keep going back to the video, guy, video guys. And... Uh, if you follow the steps, um, you won't have any problems backing this stuff up. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Alright guys, I'm out.